Welcome back to the channel guys, welcome back to G-Shake or Steer and I hope you had uh, so far a great week and I'm back with another video today as I promised on Sunday if you watch already my interview from behind the bottle with the global ambassador for Angostura, Daniel Jones we talk about bitters, we talk about uh, Angostura roams and during the conversation we mention a cocktail which is uh, very specific for Angostura and it's a very popular cocktail, but unfortunately I don't think it's loved by everyone because the cocktail is bitter, it's based on Angostura and Angostura, as we know, the actual bitter, it's not potted bitter so it's just to use in some dashes and some small proportions to modify your cocktail However, today cocktail is taking a little bit more further and a little bit drastic on the use of Angostura but it's creating an absolutely fantastic tipo for every one of you out there who likes a little bit of bittersweet taste in your cocktail. So if you're ready, today we're gonna make the Trinidad Especial. All right guys, so before I start making the cocktail, just a quick story about it. It's created in 2008 and it's actually the winning cocktail in the Angostura European Bartender competition. The guy who created it's an Italian bartender called Valentino Bolognese. So the cocktail aim is to bring Angostura bitter as the hero of the cocktail, not as modifier. And for those of you who ever try Angostura, you know it's aromatic bitter but it's very concentrated bitter so it's not potted bitter like for example let's say Campari bitter which you can drink as normal drink it's usually a modifier and it's just to enhance your flavor or bond some flavors and bring another more rich character to the cocktails but in this particular case in this recipe Valentino decide to go a step further and actually use a good measurement of Angostura which in this cocktail is 30 milliliter so compensating with uh, some uh, sweetness from uh, Orget syrup and a little bit of zest from lime juice so if you're ready let's make this cocktail because I'm excited it's not one of those cocktails which is made very often but it's a good recipe for all of you who likes to experience a little bit more of the taste of aromatic bitters and are open-minded to a different flavors and a little bit more bitter oriented cocktails okay so all you need for this it's obviously your angostura bitter you're gonna need some uh, pisco which is just a 10 ml in the cocktail or jet syrup and a fresh squeezed lime juice now I'll get my shaker and first things i need to do is open this angostura because as you know angostura bitter it's coming on the top with a small like a hole just so you can control your dashes when you pour when you dash in your glass but however today we're using it as a hero of the cocktail so i have to remove this top and we start with angostura bitter the whole 30 milliliters of angostura bitters going in your cocktail and that's a lot. Now, drinking it just by like this, it's gonna be horrendously bitter. Yeah, it's gonna be like you drinking a medicine. And this is when the, the good part is coming. To compensate this bitterness and aromas from the aromatic bitter coming from the Angostura, he's using a almond syrup, which it's, uh, many of you know, it's called Orget syrup. It's very sweet, it's a lovely almond and nutty flavor, and this sweetness is gonna balance actually the bitterness of the Angostura. So we're going exactly with the same measurement as the Angostura. 30 ml of the syrup. Beautiful. And of course we gotta bring a little bit of more like a fire to the cocktail, let's put it this way. So we're gonna use just 10 ml of pisco. That's what it's in the original recipe by Valentino. It's 10 ml of pisco, which it's, uh, if you never try pisco, you know it's a uh, a grape spirit uh, it's it's fantastic it's absolutely wonderful and if you never try you should do because there's so many wonderful cocktails so from the pisco as i mentioned we're using only 10 mils this is just to give a little kick to the cocktail we already have a kick from the angostura because even it's a bitter 
it's uh, as far I remember I think it's yeah it's 44.7 ABV so it's quite strong okay now we have the sweetener we have the bitterness inside all we need it's a fresh lime okay roll your lime a little bit I don't know why people are doing this roll the lime when you squeeze it you squeeze it it's gonna squeeze the whole juice but apparently it's helping so I'll go with the flow here now we're gonna have only 20 mil of this lime so to keep it precise I will try to keep exactly on 20 mil I don't wanna change the recipe so let's squeeze 20 mil of the lime here we go there is some more left in the lime but I will leave it for another drink it's okay so 20 mil of the lime and this is all we have ready to shake so I'm gonna shake my cocktail with just two big piece of uh, ice like a rock ice which I mentioned before when I do clear ice I leave the excess of the ice and I just use it for shaking because obviously it's not clear but it's wonderful for shaking and preserve water so you don't need to waste water so we give it a good shake fantastic so we give it a good shake because you want uh, the syrup because it's 30 mil and the lime juice and everything to bond together and you want to introduce a little bit more of dilution to the cocktail to lower down the high percentage of ABV and make it more pleasant for drinking so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give it a double strain and I'm gonna serve originally it's served like in the coupe glass I will try to serve in this small it's not exactly coupe it's no martini it's just a fancy glass I like it and I need my final touch here so fine sieve just in case if you have any broken ice you don't want to drop inside and as you can see you're gonna get this amazing dark browny color which it's obviously thanks to the angostura inside there you go i'm gonna give it a quick like a uh, aroma just to smell before i put the actual garnish oh you know you, you may be expecting to smell a lot like angostura and be very prominent but it's not i think the orget and the lime juice it's softened this smell and it's making it really lovely on aroma so garnish just the orange zest so grab yourself an orange just give it a quick orange zest and of course if you want to make it uh, pretty which we're gonna do now because end of the day it's all about aesthetics so i'm just gonna cut a straight strip from the orange zest i'm gonna cut the ends on diagonal and just a quick slice in the middle so basically you're gonna get something like that gonna extract a little bit and just give it a, a little bit on the rim and what you can do is just twist it this way and whatever you made the cut just put it on the rim of your glass let's take off this we don't want any more and this is it guys this is the Trinidad special now let's give it a sip And that, I can see why it's win the European Bartender competition in 2008. It's, it's absolutely wonderful. The first things in your brain, it's, oh my gosh, I'm gonna drink Angostura bitter like this. And uh, you're thinking that is gonna be horrendously bitter. But it's not. You have the bitterness, obviously, from the Angostura. But the orge, the almond syrup, but don't forget it's a sweet and it's bring this lovely almond sweetness to the cocktail. So you have a lovely mixture of aromatic uh, botanicals and herbs with the bitterness and lovely sweetness. It's actually sticky to be honest. That much syrup it's inside is 30 mil. And on the back end you get this fantastic citrusy bitter taste. It's, yeah, phew. I guess that's why he won the first place, that's why he's the winner. 
beautiful cocktail. Mm. And there you go, guys. Trinidad is special today. So once again, if you don't know, if you're new to the channel, if you just pop in, uh, don't forget to check my Behind the Bottle series where I interview people from behind the brand. So we talk about the brands and we give you a little bit more information about what it's uh, take to make uh, these uh, drinks and uh, mixers and uh, spirits and whatever we have interviews. Like the last one was on Sunday with the global ambassador for the House of Angostura, Daniel Jones. And we talk about bitters and we talk about Angostura Rome. So that's where we came with a cocktail during the conversation and I promise I'm gonna make it. So there you go, it's coming to the channel. So check the card uh, or check the playlist below if you wanna watch it. It's a good watch or you can listen on podcast. It's available on all major podcasts like Spotify, iTunes, Deezer and so on and so far. All of them. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for popping in. Stay around. If you like this video, click the like button. It's helping a lot. And of course, leave me a comment as always. I like to hear from you. I like to hear from where you're watching, what you're interested in, or if you have any suggestions for cocktail or you want me to make your own recipe on the channel, just leave me a comment and I will try to fit everything. And I'll promise some of you, you became lucky to be with his recipe on the channel. For now, as always, I love you and I leave you. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.